The shutdown also taking a major toll on the country's most prominent parks, historic sites and monuments. But now a Portland based sportswear giant is taking a stance on the political stalemate. Fox News Bonnie Silkman joins us live in studio now with a high profile way Columbia Sportswear is now trying to get lawmakers to take action. Bonnie? Yeah, Liz, everyone should take a look at this ad. Columbia with a clear statement today, their full page ad in the Washington Post saying make America's parks open again, a play off of President Trump's campaign tagline with a message that parks should not be used as political pawns. Now, we spoke with the company's president and CEO, Tim Boyle, today. He says the company doesn't usually take any political stance, but this time it felt different because parks are on the line. Although the National Park Service's website is rarely being updated during this shutdown, it does estimate that around half of all parks, historical sites and monuments are closed while others are only partially open. Meanwhile, the longer this shutdown continues, the more trash is starting to build up and Boyle says he's worried that that could create long term damage. Who can argue with with national parks and, and the fact that we need to preserve them and keep them special? Some of the nation's most valuable assets are, are under incredible pressure and it could be damaged and and we felt it was really important for uh, the leadership of the country to know uh, that we think it's it's time to op reopen the parks, put people back to work and then have a discussion about disagreements on other topics at, at some other other time and other place. And in all of this, safety is also becoming a major concern with little to no staff manning those parks. At least three people have died. Now there's worry that that number could rise the longer the shutdown drags on. Boyle also says so far the response to this ad is overwhelmingly positive and he encourages other companies to take action as well. Reporting live in studio, Bonnie Sulkman, Fox 12.